Turkey-aligned Syrian opposition reportedly suggests Talal Silo was concerned about Kurdish dominance of SDFTHE spokesman for the U.S.-backed Syrian Democratic Forces has defected to Turkey and fled to Turkish-backed, rebel-controlled territory in Jarablus, according to reports. Colonel Talal Silo, a Turkmen and public face of the SDF coalition, on Tuesday evening fled to the Awan al checkpoint that connects areas controlled by the Turkish Euphrates Shield coalition with the SDF-controlled city of Manbij, according to the Northern Syria Observer. Photos released on social media appeared to show Silo entering a Turkish military vehicle news SDF spokesperson Colonel Talal Silo defected to FSA held Jarabulus. Syria picked out Twitter.com 6 ass open. Julian Ropka Julian Ropka November 15, 2017 A spokesperson for the Turkey-based Syrian interim government told Al Arabi al Jadid that Silo had joined their ranks because he was upset at the domination of the SDF by Kurdish forces and the marginalization of Arabs and Turkmen. Colonel Haytham Alafisi, deputy chief of staff of the SIG, said more details would be released on the defection later in the day, but added that it had been coordinated with the Free Syrian Army. Middle East I could not verify the statement. Neither the US-led coalition nor the SDF had responded to requests for comment at time of publication. The new SDF spokesman is Red Orz Eliel, who held the same role for the People's Protection Unit YPG, which forms the largest component of the SDF. Silo had previously led the EPG-affiliated Seljuk Brigades, which was comprised of Syrian Turkmen. Last month, the SDF captured Raqqa, the last major stronghold of the Islamic State group in Syria, with the backing of US-led coalition airstrikes. The YPG have long championed a project of decentralized government as the rent goal in Syria and the group established what it called the Democratic Federation of Northern Syria last year, as an attempt to formalize that. Still, Turkey has been alarmed at the prospect of a group it views as affiliated with the Kurdistan Workers' Party PKK with whom Turkey has fought a decadist-long guerrilla war and has moved to prevent any pro-Kurdish statelet from forming on its border. Turkey launched Operation Euphrates Shield in August 2016, supporting Syrian rebel fighters as they took back areas of northern Syria from IS. However, the long-term plan has been to challenge the dominance of the SDF despite the US and Turkey being NATO members and allies. On Wednesday, the Turkish Foreign Ministry said that the YPG was not interested in fighting as but aimed to create a legitimate phase accomplice on the ground, to occupy territories and to alter their demographic structures. The Turkish President, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, has vowed he would not allow a terror corridor controlled by the YPG in Syria close to Turkey's border. He has also warned that Turkey could yet mount a military operation against the YPG to oust the group from the northern Syrian town of Afrin.